in Buffalo County today. Yep. Tim, Bob, and I hunting some farms. Timmy found the first shed of the day. We're gonna spend the day shed hunting. We're gonna do some frost seeding, but we're just gonna kind of spend a day out on the land with our buddies at Homegrown Outfitters and love the grind. Look at this one. Big sexy shed for sure. That's a nice buck. The way this whole plot's laid out, you've got beans, you've got corn, you've got big sexy, and it pushed him right here to drop his antler. But this whole big sexy plot is absolutely destroyed. All right, so it is March here in Wisconsin and it is time to start thinking about frost seeding. This is the perfect scenario. Last year it was planted in Big Sexy and it's an awesome scenario to come in and frost seed your comeback kid, hot chick, perennial clover mixes where you've got pot up, dirt, soil, everything exposed. The next two weeks, freeze thaw, freeze thaw, freeze thaw. The perfect forecast for frost seeding. You're gonna allow the soil to expand and contract and like you said, the best way to do it is last year's brassica plot or an area that's ready for seed. Over the course of the next several months, it's gonna go from white to brown to green and you're not gonna have to do anything with it from a killing standpoint. So it's an awesome way to get things ready to roll into spring and summer. I think a common mistake guys make is they go in and they think they can just frost seed anywhere. Um, they don't clear the debris, they don't move the leaves, and you're not getting the seed to soil contact that you need. So again, last year's brassica plot, really good scenario here where you're gonna get that good seed to soil contact, but also you need to double your seed rate. If you're planting a half an acre, you need to put an acre of seed down uh, to get good ample coverage for your frost seeding. If you have to go in and till, you're gonna unearth new weed seeds. So if you can get in to a last year's brassica plot, frost seed it, you're gonna let nature drive those seeds down versus introducing a tiller to it. Also, there's no risk of burying your tiny seeds, which is another reason plots fail, especially those clover seeds. It's a lot of good reasons to do it, provided the timing is right, the product you're using is correct, cold season perennials, and the application is in the right area. You really want to focus on your perennials that can come back. Most of the time it's any of your clover mixes. Uh, we've got two, we've got Comeback Kid that's got four varieties of clover and alfalfa that can be frost seeded. And then we have Hot Chick, which has uh, chicory and then two varieties of clover that can be frost seeded. And, and that's the only two mixes that we offer that can be yep. frost seeded successfully. We're here at the Silo Farm. We're in this awesome transition plot here. Big Sexy was in here last year. Awesome brassica plot. Goes into a much larger field. We always talk about, Tim and I do, the strategy behind a transition food plot. Everybody thinks that the big destination plot is where you should hunt. However, we found to be more strategic to pinpoint these little transition plots, easier to hunt from, easier to kind of get deer in front of you. It's also gonna get you some green up before the trees green up. So it, it gets some really important proteins into your deer in April and May. And it, it's a great way to, to kind of get your deer into summer and fall, or you know keep a culver plot going for years and years and years. So a lot of different ways to use it. Be 
Behind us is an awesome bedding area with this kind of old logging road coming into it. Like it's probably about an acre, acre and a half food plot. And last year they planted this in Hot Chick and established an awesome food highway of, of clover. So this is another great opportunity here early to come in, frost seed it, and before the leaves come in, you're gonna get that really good germination, a lot of growth, a lot of root establishment, uh, which is gonna help this really excel even when the leaves come in and block out your light. This is one of those areas where during hunting season, the deer are gonna transition from bedding to the food here, take the food highway to the destination plot. Wrapping up a uh, phenomenal day here at Homegrown Outfitters. We walked some amazing ground, found a pile of probably, what, 15 sheds. Uh, this is a nice matched set. But did some frost seeding, walked a bunch of ground. Uh, I'm really excited to see all these plots green up here in the next month or so. Um, and I'm excited to, to get in here this summer and, and put some fall plots in because it, it's something special down here for sure. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be fun to watch the transformation of these plots from last fall with the green Big Sexy. Now they're just blowing up, eating up turnips. Once we get into April and May, post frost seed, you're gonna start to see some green up and then some explosion of, of greens. Um, as the antlers grow, so does the clover. So it'll be a kind of a fun transition. And then again, next summer, we'll get back into Nebraska. So it'll be fun to continue to kind of watch the farm turn into a domain.